everybody. Today I'm going to be going through how you can use the big blue button function on Moodle. So we're going to start by opening up our browsers. We're going to go here to the main Moodle page. We're going to log in. And once you do that, you can access your courses. You can either do that, of course, by going to site home, or you can do it by just immediately clicking on the course itself. So I'm just going to choose one. It's right here. And as you can see, this is the course that I'm going to make a fake big blue button in as an example. So first thing that we do is we turn on uh, the editing function in Moodle. And once we've turned on the editing function, you can add one anywhere you want. Anywhere where it says add an activity or resource, you can click on it and add the big blue button. Uh, because I want to do this based on a week, I'm going to go down to, let's just do uh, Australia. And here in Australia, as you can see, these are the tasks that they have to do for the class. And I'm going to add one here where it says during class. So I'm going to start by adding the activity. And you click on big blue button. And once you've hit add, it is going to take you to this room. So we're going to set the virtual classroom name. I think it's easier to add the term uh, lecture or seminar, whatever word you want to use, and the time. So we'll say that it'll be at 18 March. And we'll set up a time and uh, we'll make it for, uh, maybe let's say, another 20 minutes. So we'll do 1840. Uh, so uh, let's go through some of the important settings. We can go to the activity and room settings. Uh, it says that the session can be recorded. This means that you or the students can record the session. If you don't feel comfortable about that, then you would just unclick it. For me, it doesn't matter. It makes it a lot easier for them. Um, we can then go to recording. There's nothing with recording settings. Participants, it's automatically made that the person making it, the teacher, is the moderator, and that everyone else that's enrolled in the course the teachers, students, etc., that they're viewers. And then we're going to click on schedule for session. Now here, it doesn't enable this. I like to turn it on because it makes sure that the students can only enter and exit the session, um, or they can only enter the, the session at a specific time. So it's uh, 1822 when I opened it. Let's make it 1823. Uh, it starts at 1840, so we'll say that it goes until 1740. There we go. You can, for instance, if you say, hey, I don't want it to end at a specific time, you can also unclick that, and then it will only start at a certain time. The other one, these you don't have to worry about, common Moodle settings to restrict access. I like to go to activity completion, and I like to always use this on almost all of my activities. Show activity is complete when the conditions are met, and this one is going to be student must view this activity to complete it. That means that at the end, you will have a record in perpetuity of all the students who attended the lecture and those who didn't. So we're going to hit save and return to course. Now if we go down here back to Australia, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up here so that it comes into the section that says during class because this is going to be an online class. And then I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to turn editing off. So. If the student, let's say that you set it up for another date and you said that it's not going to start until, let's say, Thursday, if you click on it now, it's going to say the session will not open until Thursday. But I already have this one as being open right now, so I'm going to click on it. And then it says that we can join the session. So we're going to click Join Session, and it's going to give us a few options. The first one is if we just want to listen or if we want to use the microphone. Now, of course, we're the teacher, so we're going to use the microphone, and you're going to have to give permission to use the microphone. It's then going to ask us if we heard a noise. Uh, we have the volume off, but we did hear the noise. And now we have right here the sample screen. Now what we're going to do really quickly is we're going to uh, first look at a few functions that we have here. The main function that we have is, of course, if we want to turn on our webcam, we could click there, and it will turn on your webcam right here. You would say that it's okay and you would then click on Start Sharing. Just use medium quality. If you use anything else, it can be a little bit difficult. Um, of course, I'm going to turn it back off because it makes it a little bit easier. And the last part that we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to upload your presentation. So you have to upload your presentation right here. 
when you do so, you go to your files. I'm just going to pull up a recent file. And here we go. I'm just going to use one that I did uh, recently. So let's go to um, this right here. So this is the file that we have. I'm going to click on it, put it right there, and it's going to upload. Let me hit the upload button. It takes a few seconds for this to go through. And once it does, as you can see right here, it's brought up my file. So all that I would actually have to do is to just click through each one. And once I've done that, I can start the lecture. So I can click through them and the students see what I see. Let's look at a few of the functions. Right now, if you click on this function right here, you have your tools. This one just shows a hand. So if I'm placing it over the screen, it shows the hand. This one here allows me to draw. So for instance, I can give Billy Elliot a little mustache right here. I can also uh, draw boxes. I can draw text. So I just draw a big box and I say, this is Billy, et cetera. And if I wanna delete everything, I just hit on the trash can button. So I hope that this has helped you out. When you're ready to uh, leave, you can, uh, you can literally exit by uh, logging out, or you can click on end the meeting. And once you click end the meeting, then the meeting ends for everyone. Um, some of the teachers had questions about how, for instance, to, uh, how, for instance, to send uh, students a notification. Unlike Teams, you don't have to invite students. All they have to know is to go here to Australia. So if you want to hit, if you want to send uh, your students an announcement or a message, and it will automatically be sent to them on Moodle, but it will also be emailed to them 30 minutes after you've sent it, is you go right here and you click on Add New Topic. Just like in a normal email, you hit Subject and Message, and every person enrolled in the course will get an email. So right here, this is one that I sent the other day, reminding them that they're going to have a lecture. And so if you do this, you have then uh, 30 minutes after you hit send, it will send an email to everyone. So you have 30 minutes, of course, to uh, make changes if need be. Send me an email if you have any questions about this. And I hope that you're uh, excited to use Big Blue Button.